A fire hydrant extension kit raises a hydrant to proper grade. This video will show you how to install an extension kit on an EJ Watermaster BR fire hydrant. EJ extension kits are available for the 5BR250 as well as the 5BR350. Gather the tools you will need for this project. You will need a main valve combination wrench, a 15 16 socket, and a 15 16 wrench. Please always wear the required PPE. Begin by turning off the isolation valve located at the front of the hydrant. Turn to the specified direction of close. In this video example, close is in a clockwise rotation. We suggest you remove one of the caps to verify it is shut off and the pressure is removed from the hydrant. Once you are sure the water source is turned off, you can remove the bonnet of the hydrant. To do this, remove the six bolts and nuts from the joint at the base of the bonnet. Next, turn the operating nut in the direction of opening. This is an open left hydrant, so we will be opening it in a counterclockwise direction. Note, some hydrants are designed as open right, so a clockwise rotation would be needed in that case. Keep turning the operating nut until the bonnet stops upward movement. Once you have reached the end of the threads on the standpipe, you can lift the bonnet and gently set it to the side. Note that the 5BR bonnet weighs 80 pounds. Next, you will need to remove the six bolts and nuts at the base of the hydrant. This will allow you to remove the swivel flanges that connect the traffic standpipe to the lower section. You can now lift the traffic standpipe off the lower section and gently set it off to the side. Please note that the 5BR traffic standpipe weighs 50 pounds. Next, you will need to remove the operating stem top and the stem coupling. Now you can install the hydrant extension kit parts. These parts consist of non-breakable stem coupling, extension flanges, extension stem, quad ring gasket, standpipe extension, food grade grease, and six flange stainless steel bolts and nuts. To start assembling the kit, install the extension coupling and extension stem. Then lightly grease the quad seal ring. Carefully place the standpipe extension on the base. Our extensions are offered in six inch increments. We are using an 18 inch extension in this example. Next, secure using the six flange bolts. Next, replace the breakaway stem coupling. Note the breakaway coupling is always to be installed two inches above ground line. Lightly grease the quad seal ring after placing it in the groove of the standpipe. Then carefully lift the traffic standpipe onto the standpipe extension. Replace the original swivel flanges and the six flange bolts and nuts. Replace the bonnet quad ring then lightly grease. Also grease the threads on the stem. Next, lift the bonnet onto the upper standpipe. Take care not to damage the bonnet O-rings. Now turn the operating nut in the direction of closing. In this example, it is clockwise. Keep turning until the bonnet stops downward movement and sets tight on the standpipe. Next, replace the six bonnet flange bolts and nuts. You can now turn water back on and test the hydrant. Make sure there are no leaks and everything is working properly.